Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alperonen here again, and welcome to part 4 on my beginner's breakdown to My Hero One Shasta 2. And today we're going to be talking about recoveries, and waking up, and what it means to do a recovery, and when you should and when you shouldn't do them, and what they actually do. So, um, if you don't know, a recovery is, if I get Bakugo to do a Kataga combo, I'm playing Nomu right now. A recovery is when your opponent has a little flash of blue light and they kind of like jump up, either do a backflip into the air or sideways or something. And you can attack off it. And it basically just means you can press buttons and you're out of their combo and you're safe to do whatever you want. So, what... Uh, yeah, so a recovery is something that you actually choose to do. And it is performed by either moving your movement stick or pressing the jump button. So as you can see there, I did nothing and Nomu just woke up slowly and had some, um, he turned white for me. So this time I'm gonna perform a recovery by moving the stick and as you can see he moves up, he gets up in the direction that I move the stick. So if I hold it to the left, he'll get to the left. If I do it to the right, he'll get to the right. If I do it to the back, he'll get to the back. If I press the jump button, he'll just recover straight up. And that can be useful um, if you know you don't want to be too far from the opponents, so you don't want to recover backwards, or if you want to recover up or towards them, you can, uh, you can try and shorten the distance by recovering towards them. And that's something you want to keep in mind if you're playing someone like Nomu, or someone that likes to stay in close and not get zoned out. You want to make sure you're recovering towards the opponent whenever possible, so that you can get your combos whenever you can, and closer up. But, uh, yeah, that's what a recovery is, that's the basics. I'm sure you already knew that if you did the tutorial. But, um, another option if you're- if someone does a combo on you, or is doing attacks, and you get launched into the air or something, you can just not do a recovery. And as you can see there, no, no, as Nomu just lies on the ground and I don't press anything, Nomu kind of glows white as he gets up, and those are actually invincibility frames. And they're a very interesting part of this game, so that whole period while Nomu is white, um, he he's completely invincible. And I'll show it with Bakugo. Oh, oops, I'll make him not recover. So Bakugo is gonna be doing his target combo as he wakes up. And as you can see, while he's white, he was he was standing up there basically, almost completely stood up. But because of those white his that white glow, I cannot hit him while he's glowing like that. And a lot of people don't realize that a normal wake up is actually a really strong mechanic in this game because it makes it really hard to attack your opponent as they wake up. Like you have to time it completely perfectly. Like there, I missed it slightly, and then he can just wake up and mash buttons and do a full combo on me just because I wanted to attack him on block. So like if I do something like a red attack, it'll just go straight through him. Basically, anything that I do, if I don't time it perfectly or like really late, um, he he won't get hit by it because he's got the what the whole period while he's glowing white. He's completely invincible, and that also means, like, if I try and do it later, like, you know, wait for the glow to go away, and then I press buttons, he's gonna beat me, and then he can just wake up and get a full combo on me if I'm not just standing there blocking like an idiot. So it's a really powerful tool if your, um, if your opponent just likes to really, like, you know, press buttons, you know, do yellow attacks on you when you wake up, you know, do some really, like, crazy stuff, like, do a lot of red attacks or yellow attacks and mix you up with different things. Um, so yeah, it's a really strong tool that I think a lot more people should be using. Just take the knockdown and fall down and wake up and press buttons and react to what your opponent does. So yeah, that's the other way that you can wake up in this game. So yeah, there's the two types. You can either recover or just take the fall down and you get the white invisibil invincibility frames. Now, um... That's basically it for, reco um, <laughs> for recoveries. You want to be doing them and... but. There are certain situations where you either do or don't want to recover. And um, I've picked Nomo for this example because he has, I believe, recovery resets with this button. So if the opponent... Oh, they can be pretty easy if I don't mess them up. I haven't played Nomo with a while. But um, essentially... He doesn't even... Oh, he doesn't need to do a dash cancel. Or is it with this? But um, essentially after he does his basic combo, which is not that, I don't know why I did that, um, something like this. Uh, sorry.
Um, I can just dash off to the opponent and punish them for doing a recovery. They're not doing it very well at the moment. Maybe they increase the dash cancel window off of this because that doesn't usually happen. But a lot of the time, this maybe was a bad example, but um, there are characters like Gran Torino that you definitely do not want to do a recovery on, on very often. Because a lot of the time, they can just dash after you and attack you right after you recover. Especially if it's a small map. They can just keep attacking you, and if you do a recovery, because there are a few little frames where you can't press any buttons. So if I've been doing something like this, you know, keeping on matching this, you don't want to press the recovery button if he can attack you straight after you recover, because in order to avoid that, you're going to have to do a just guard, which is a pretty hard thing to do. I can't even do them consistently online. Um, yeah, so if your opponent is trying to do these recovery resets where they chase you down as you recover, I'm not doing them very well here. But essentially, if you time it perfectly, like right as they recover, you attack, and you hit them like straight after they do a recovery, and the only way they can avoid it is by doing uh, a just guard, you, you don't want to be recovering in that situation. And then in that situation, it's honestly just better to not recover, because then you lay on the ground and you, you really slow down what they can do. As you can see that there wasn't anything I could do as no more. I couldn't dash up and do the crazy things I was doing before, because he didn't recover, and I have to just wait for him to get up. So it really slows your opponent down if you don't do a recovery sometimes. But equally, there are also times where you really want to be doing a recovery. Um, an, an example is that it gives characters a lot of infinite, or, or combos that they shouldn't be getting. So like, I don't know if there's many good examples with Nomu, but a lot of characters can get, like, basically infinite. Here, look, see, that's not something you can usually get. Here, look, there we go. Nomo isn't usually allowed to do that. He can't do multiple of those, but if you don't recover, then he can get just a bunch of attack strings in a row, um, because you decided not to recover. Here, wait. Let me get a combo from that. And it can actually give characters a lot more damage than they usually get, which is not something you want to be doing. Oh my goodness, why did it work before and not now? Let me get them close to the wall. But, like, for characters like, um, regular Deku has these really easily off of, um, a lot of his combos. Here, I might actually just switch to him quickly. Um, just to show you how you can get a- <laughs> you want to be, um, careful of when you do use a recovery. Uh, quick, 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 sorry about this. Where's regular Deku? Where is he? Oh, there. <laughs> Just choose some random supports. Some random opponents. Um, but essentially, characters can get basically infinite if you don't recover. So you want to be careful of when you do recover and when you don't recover. You want, don't want to be randomly recovering for no reason all the time, because that can allow your opponent to be really offensive. But you also just don't want to just not do a recovery, because then someone like Deku can do something like this. Oops. <laughs> and, uh, did you see that? 15,000 damage just because you decided not to recover? That's not something you want to be taking very often. Um, so yeah, if you see your opponent trying to go for those, that's when you definitely do want to do a recovery. But equally, you want to be careful, because if my opponent does something like this, um, if I've done a combo, uh, not like that, but say a combo like this, oops, I haven't... You don't want to be getting hit by these all the time. See, I just hit, um, them with a reset because they recovered. Um, I'm not timing it very well, but especially if you're like facing near a wall, and I do something like this. Um, oh, that one nearly worked. But you don't want to be recovering needlessly, because then your opponent. Oh, okay. These are not very good examples. But like, see, they recover. Why did you end up over there? Okay, I get near them, and then, oh, I did a combo, and it's gonna do a lot of damage because they've recovered and there's no scaling. But yeah, basically, 
that's just what I talk, wanted to talk about with recoveries. Sorry that took so long. But yeah, you want to recover to make sure you don't get into any infinites, but you also want to make sure that, you know, sometimes you use the um, delayed wake up where you just lie down and use your invincibility frames because it can be really good at slowing down your opponent and you can get some invincibility and stuff. So yeah, those are two types of wake ups. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.